70 flaps per second. That's the amazing speed of a hummingbird's wings. For some, the birds are a fascination, and in one case, it appears they have captured the fascination of an entire town. Justin Horn takes us to Kerrville, where the arrival of the hummingbird is a celebrated event every year. Hope this doesn't scare you. I go into my workshop and uh, just crank them out. Mary and Lewis spends winter preparing for the bird's arrival, tracking their every move. And the birds are hitting the Gulf Coast right now. You're looking at handcrafted hummingbird feeders made in Lewis's backyard. Ours is glass and metal. Tejas feeders have a long history, as these machines might imply. A longtime hill country business that Lewis is carrying on. You can find the feeders locally and they sell fast. After all, Curvo and hummingbirds go way back. A tradition first started at the city's VA hospital. The patients there had hummingbird feeders in their rooms and the hummingbirds would fly into their rooms and feed. IV bottles like this one were used. But why Kerrville? It's located where the Central and the Pacific uh, migratory flyways merge. So hummingbirds in the spring are no short supply here. And it doesn't hurt that these birds actually like people. If uh, you don't keep the hummingbird feeder full, they'll come right to your window and let you know. You're probably going to start seeing a lot of these around Kerrville soon. The hummingbirds are expected to arrive within the next couple of weeks, right on schedule. St. Patrick's Day to be exact. Until then, Kerrville will be patiently waiting. Justin Horn, KSAT 12 News.